Damn it! I'm sealed in. Make your way to the top of the carrier. You should be able to procure a boat from the upper deck. While you're in the carrier, see if you can spot any sign of Val. We need to know where they're taking her. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Far Cry 1 walkthrough on the PC. This is the 2004 release. Played on the original hardware on the realistic difficulty setting. This is a mission to the carrier. There'll be four guys in this hallway. Two, one guy on the left. Uh, sorry, one going across the right there. One guy on the right. Two more on the left. Hopefully, all four of them are alerted. Most of the time, they are. Oh, he did get me a little bit. Sometimes that happens. And we've just got one more guy on the right. Sometimes we just sort of peek through here. And take him out. Cool. Okay, so we've got a few ways we can go here. Uh, this is the way we are going to go, but there is also this route here. We will come back through on the other side of this door later. This door here just loops around to that one over there where we were just before. Over here we've got a flashlight. Grab it. Uh, we've got a health. Um, I think these are smoke grenades. I'm going to make way up the ladder which you always seem to get stuck on. Okay, so through here what we're going to do is we're going to crouch lie down and crawl through here there's normally one to two guys in here come on sometimes when you're lying down like this the player doesn't want to move forward you have to look upwards jiggle about okay there's one guy there Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two, in that case we got two. Be nice if I can tag him, but it's not necessary. The one annoying thing is I can't look down too far, so more often than not I have to go back a fair bit. See if we can get this guy. Almost. Okay, there's those two guys done there. I am going to go back because there's one guy that we can get through the door above us. He's patrolling the hallway. The reason I do the um, event like this first is because if you shoot up here, those two guys down there are more alert. Makes, makes it just a little bit harder to get them. So we go up here, through this broken door, and we just kind of wait. Eventually someone should come into view. Okay, there's that guy. Uh, to speed this up a little bit, I'm not going to crawl back through that vent just because it's slow and annoying. It just feels like it takes way too long. Go through here. Here's the guys we killed at the start. Um, I'm already lost, which is not good. Ah, oh, here it is. There's a door over here. We can sneak around. It takes us. So we were above here, and you have to crawl all the way along, and you drop down here because there's a little ridge here. Um, so that's one way you can do it if you want to keep going through there. We can just go around like I did now. New weapon. Nice to have. And over here we've got health. Cool. Next door, we are going to go through this one. And on the left, there's going to be two guys that are sitting down. Okay, those two guys are down. Grab the ammo. Sometimes two other two or three guys will be alerted. 
So what I like to do is just stay put just for maybe five to ten seconds just to make sure no one's going to come through these doors so you don't get ambushed. I think we're good. On the left here, if I turn my light on, there's armor as well as um, health. I've already just grabbed the armor just then. This blue mean is because I've enabled SLI on this machine. So there's two guys here on... Well, we're going to peek out left like this. Very carefully. Headshot this guy. Headshot that guy. Now sometimes there's a third guy down there. If he's alerted, two other guys will spawn from ropes from the ceiling. Looks like we managed to take care of everyone before that happened. So we're just going to keep an eye out. Just to see if this third person comes in. There's health here if you need it. Okay. Sometimes two guys will spawn um, before you go through this door here. If they don't, go through this door down there and they will eventually will drop down. Once you hear Doyle start to talk. And there'll be one more guy. And then both of them are down. Normally Doyle will start to talk, it's when you know you have to go back. Listen up, Jack. I'm doing my best to track both you and the hostiles, but all the metal is interfering with your signal. You're pretty much on your own right now. Okay. This next part, we're going to go to this right side under here, and there's about four guys up here we need to take care of. Team Beta, please report deck three. Team Beta, okay, turn. Look at this balcony up here. So there should be two other guys down here. Keep a visual, wide visual, in case someone above you spawns. Okay. There's one. Should be a second guy. Scared, huh? Okay, there's two. So there's armor up there if you need it. There is a third guy. We're going to have to go and hunt him down. It's normally hiding. If he doesn't come through, he's hiding down one of these hallways. normally on the right All repair crews we have inbound damaged vehicles prepare to receive and process Okay so he will be if he's not directly to your right he'll be in one of these rooms so we're just going to No. Carefully None go through, more guy, often than not, he's TV. in the barracks here. No. Lucky last. Okay, well... Sometimes he spawns, sometimes he doesn't. Not too sure what the story is in my other playthroughs. There's always been three guys there. 
Uh, three on the ground, one up the top. Do a quick sanity check. So if you need armor, go back up the stairs to the left. There's armor and uh, another smoke grenade. Through here is normally just a dead end. Yeah. next part is the hardest part of the whole mission there's uh, about four guys down here what I like to do is peek out we're gonna take care of one guy Okay, turn my machine gun back into automatic mode. And there should be three other guys that will come for us. I'm using this doorway as my hold point. Okay, I'm on. Okay, there's two. Alright, so there's four guys total on the ground here, so there's three bodies over there plus that guy there, now we have to be very very careful because there's a gunner up on the roof in front of us, you can peek out like this, if you're quick he's in this sort of gap around about here, if you're quick you can kind of take care of him pretty easily. Okay, so he's down. We're going to make our way up to this, uh, whatever this part is on the ship. And we're going to peek out, and there's a guy behind a machine gun. Okay, he's taken care of. And then above us here, there's another guy. So there's three sort of extra enemies. And if you're very careful, work your way back slowly, you can often see his machine gun. Okay, so he's not in the usual spawn point, sometimes he's about here. It seems when you close the game and reopen it, these variations change. So we can take care of him later. Or you can be risky. Sometimes you can alert him out. Ah, there he is there. Single shot mode. Perfect. If you get him at the right angle, you can take care of him. Okay, progressing forwards. There's an enemy up on one of these extremities on the ship. Don't know what these are called. You can sort of crouch. Peek out, no, he's on the further one up. I was a little bit off my mark there. That's okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly run back, grab some 
ammo and armor because I can through here lift go up the stairs it's the closest one remembering to jump on this annoying ramp because it's rubbish oh, still still getting stuck in it Come on, you turkey. Alright. There we go. I try and grab armor where I can. I know it's bad tracking, which is annoying, but... I mean, it only takes a few shots, as you guys see there, and it's pretty much used up. So it's good to have it. safely make our way up love the graphics it's just nice Okay, three here is going to be a guy here. on the left. I think he's looking for the girl. Well, he ain't going to find her. Oh. We're taking her to the bunker. Crow out. No sign of Val herself, but I found her camera. There's also a file here on some joker named Krieger. This archipelago is the ideal location for my research. These islands are isolated from international shipping lanes, so I am free to do my work without interference from the outside world. This work will take time, but a measure of the future of mankind depends on the success of my research here. I will not fail my destiny. Doyle, they're taking Val to somewhere called the Bunker. Where's that? I know where that is, but it's heavily guarded. Get a boat, and I'll meet you. I'm on my way. Okay, there's more armor and health here if you need it. We're going to take care of two more guys in the next room. We've got us an intruder somewhere around here. Keep your eyes open. An intruder? From where? We're a thousand miles from the ass end of nowhere out here. How the hell would I know? Just keep your eyes open, all right? Whatever. Oh, hey. Okay, those two guys are down. So you can hear this helicopter moving around outside. The easiest method I've found to deal with it is to coax it back over to this door at the end of the hallway here, so through here. Um, if you can take care of the gunner on the side of it, the helicopter will just go away. Which is what we want. But in order for it to come over here, we have to has to see us okay so he's taking a little bit of a shot so you're gonna sprint as fast as you can back to this door go around here hide on the right okay if it doesn't come over you have to go back out and entice it back over be a little bit tricky okay so when it, you see it go up like that he's coming around just made it through the front door okay so because I've got SLI cards you can see the glow of the lights weird sort of artifact of such a card set up okay so we gotta take care of the gunner I 
Okay, so when the gunner goes down, he's in there. The helicopter will just fly away. That's exactly what we want. Cool. Now we can progress. This next part is the hardest part in the whole game. We have to get onto the roof to get to the lifeboat. There are about 12 enemies, something thereabouts, up here. It can be a little bit of a fight. So what we're going to do is stay crouched, go to this right side here. There's some boxes we are going to hide behind, hopefully. Okay, this is a good position. There's going to be a guy here on the left side. But what I like to do is put my gun in single fire shot mode. Creep out. Take care of this guy here. Okay. He's taken care of, which means you're set up in this position here to take care of that machine gunner. There's one more guy behind us, but he generally won't come for us. And now we can poke our head out. This is where you have to get really good at ducking out and, and shooting. Sometimes they'll come up to your position, sometimes they won't. I can hear them moving. What was yeah, that? You have to be mindful of just both. Of your um, sides. be really hard to get them to come out quite often I've found there's been a few guys that get stuck Uh, down at the very end there, there'll be someone shooting constantly. Oh, here we go. I find it easy when they come up to my position. There was one more guy up there. Could be wrong. Okay. We just need to take care of this last guy behind us. So what I do is I stay crouched. I go around this box and to the right side of this one. Cool. He's done. Sometimes it is one guy. Looks like we may have got all of them. So we can pick up all the weapons. Just be mindful, sometimes they like to hide. There's health and generally just health, I think just around here. There's a ladder you can go up onto to get to the machine gun. But we're just gonna go around 
collecting all the ammo. You can shoot the bridge, like the chains on the bridge like that. So, always good to go on the least damaged bridge. Cool. Take care of these chains, one either side, drop the lifeboat down. Alrighty, everyone, that's it for this level. Thanks for watching the uh, walkthrough, and I'll catch you guys on mission three.